So Roger on the phone yet, but as soon as Roger joins, um, I think we'll come in and talk with him about his trip, talk with him about his, his European tour, and also talk with him about um, first of all. So let me start by talking about the latest product entry that Nick has just recently introduced, the Kinko Air Purifier. This replaces the, uh, the Power 5 Pro and represents um, a bit of a for Nikon in that its introduction is designed to do a couple of things. Obviously, what we try to do is to enhance performance whenever we can. We try to do it by not only having technical specifications that are significantly better than what we've had in the past, but also um, making it look better, making it work better, making it operate more efficiently, making it as green as possible. And I think we've done many of those things with the Kinko Air Purifier. But at the same time, what we've done that's very, very important is we have made it much more financially accessible to most people. We've made it uh, competitively priced in a way that it can go head-to-head, -head, not only from a performance standpoint, but it can go head-to-head -head from a price standpoint with a lot of the units that you will see out there in retail. I mean, if you compare apples to apples, what you find is that the Kinko Air Purifier uh, runs circles around the kind of thing that you'll find at, at Home Depot or Lowe's or Sears or at a typical retail where you may not even have a HEPA as opposed to the new OPA filter that we have with the with the Kinko Air Purifier. Let me start by looking at um, some explosion, one of the explosion diagrams you get that I have. This is part of the uh, instruction manual. And what you can see is, and let me go back, let me go back, at, let me go back to the very first slide as a matter of fact, show you some pictures. This is the front view of the Kinko Air Purifier on the left, and then the side view. And actually, I wish I had better pictures. I wish I had pictures that showed more dimensionality. But when you compare the sleek, elegant look of the Kinko Air Purifier with its predecessor, with the with with the Power Power 5 Pro, I think you'll agree that it is a much more uh, compatible, much more friendly appearance, which I think makes a huge difference to what people put in their homes, their living rooms, and in their bedrooms. Going to the second slide now, which is the Kinko Air Purifier Explosion, which shows um, <clears throat> a pre-filter, which is reusable and cleanable, very much like we had with the Power 5 Pro. And then stage number two is the deodorizing and neutralizing filter. So what we've done is we've taken two of the stages from the Power 5 Pro and we've combined them into one so they have the uh, absorptive qualities of the activated charcoal integrated with the catalytic properties of the, the structural network that holds the uh, that holds the activated charcoal together. And then the last filter stage before the fan is the OPA, which is the ultra low penetration air filter. This is a order of magnitude. This is a jump beyond HEPA. You'll find HEPA today, which is high efficiency particle air filter. You'll find HEPAs in vacuum cleaners. You'll find them in air cleaners. You'll find them in the car. You'll find them in lots of different places. And they do an okay job. They do a good job um, down to about 0.3 microns or 300 nanometers. And they're pretty good and they're pretty efficient, but they're not as good as they should be and they're not as good as state of the art, which is the OPA filter today. We will see uh, used in, um, in foundries that are making uh, chips for the silicon industry. Uh, these would be microprocessing chips and, and other kinds of solid state chips for the electronics. You also find OPA being used in clinics. You'll find it being used in laboratories. You'll find it being used in biological hoods because it's not only great at capturing things at 300 microns, but it is extremely efficient at going all the way down to uh, 0.12 microns. 120 nanometers, which makes it uh, three times as uh, efficient at getting particles that are significantly smaller than what it can do. Uh, it has a high efficiency fan, which again, Energy Star certified, which means its consumption of current to operate it is very, very low. It also has a, an air quality sensor that tells you what the air, what the air in your room looks like and, and how well the unit is performing. I'm going to do a comparison overview between the Power 5 Pro and the Kinko Air Purifier so that you can see exactly what we're talking about, uh, where the improvements and where we've gone in terms of price value. Uh, let's look at performance first. Filtration technology, the Power 5 Pro versus the Kinko Air Purifier, which is the new one. Both have a pre-filtered mesh. 
The pre-filter mesh itself, again, is cleanable. You can vacuum it. You can wash it. You can reuse it. You can put it back in. The Power Pro had a neutralizing filter as well as a deodorizing filter. It actually had two combos. And you can see on the bottom it had one reusable and three replaceable filters. And what we've done is combine the neutralizing filter, the deodorizing filter, into one in the Kinko Air Purifier so that it has one reusable, which is the pre-filter, and two replaceable filters, which is the, the combination of neutralizing and deodorizing filter together with the Ulpa filter. And let's take a look at some of the notes for the Ulpa filter here. Under the Power 5 Pro, we have a HEPA, which is 9.97% efficient on particles as small as 0.3 microns or 300 nanometers. The Ulpa, which is the ultra low penetration filter, is 99.9995% efficient on particles as small as 0.12 microns, which means in terms of clinical, in terms of hospital, in terms of clean rooms, this is the most efficient filter that you can get. Not only is it significantly more efficient in reducing particles than HEPA filter, but it actually goes down. It's, almo it's almost three times as good at getting particles all the way down to 0.212 microns or 120 nanometers. Um, I'm going to go to the next slide here, which takes a look at some of the performance. What do we have? Uh, Power 5 Pro, do we have automatic operation mode and timer? Yes. Do we have it with the Kinko Air Purifier? Yes. Do we have a ion generator? Yes. Do we have it with the Kinko Air Purifier? Yes. Ozone free operation? Yes and yes. Compact design? Yes and yes. Air quality indicator slash particle sensor? Yes and yes. All right, so then where did you compromise, Dave? You're giving us better performance. You're giving us an O filter, which is state of the art, as opposed to a HEPA. You're giving us um, efficiency. You're giving us better looks. Where have you compromised? In other words, what have you done to be able to reduce the price and yet get us better performance? Answer is we've done a couple of things. Number one, we changed some of the electronics so that we no longer have a remote control. And as you may recall, with the very first Power 5 and with the Power 5 Pro, we had a separate small um, mid-infrared range driven uh, device that acted as a remote control. And we found out that was that it was an expense that added to the cost that prevent us from giving you a competitive price. And one of the things that contributed to that, that people didn't use. Um, very, very few people used it. Most people kept it on top of the unit or it got lost in the junk drawer, never referred to it. They never used it whatsoever. So um, we decided to eliminate it. The other thing were some of the electronic options that we had uh, on the controller panel for the Power 5 Pro. More specifically, um, we had a mode where we could turn the, turn the negative generator on and off. And what we found was that um, that either everybody wanted clean negative ions put into the air after the air was cleaned, and virtually nobody ever turned off the negative ions. So that was an expense in the circuit that we could save. We went ahead and did that so we could pass the savings on to uh, to everybody at home. I'm looking at the, um, at the next slide, which is talking about uh, performance and certification. And the Power 5 Pro was, <coughs> excuse me, was Energy Star certified. It was U Allergy Association certified. It was a SCARF certified. And of course, it had uh, the CADR certified. And let me go through the ones for the Kinko Air Purifier line, and I'll also decode these so that you can um, you can see exactly what we're talking about. Number one, uh, Energy Star Purifier. Is it the 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 cure? Fire. Is it Energy Star certified? The answer is yes. It is very, very energy efficient. It is all certified by the UK Allergy Association. It is also has a pending certification, but we know we're going to get it because we have been told from ESCARF, which is the European Center for Allergy Research Foundation. It has NRTL certification, which is the which is nationally recognized testing lab. In this case, it's Intertech. It's also been tested by the Korean Institute of Technology. It is CADR certified again by Intertech which is the clean delivery rate, and it has a pending certification uh, from NAAF, which is the Norwegian Allergy and Asthma Foundation. In addition, I wanted to tell everybody that um, it is going to be um, permitted as a medical device by the Food and Drug Administration. And what we're talking about here is it will be it will be indications for use for the Kinkoware purifier will be a medical recirculating air cleaner designed to remove airborne particles and agents 
such as dust, smoke, pond, mold spores, animal dander, dust mites, and harmful fibers that may lead to allergic reactions. We will be able to make specific medical claims. Again, it will be classified as a class two medical device, which is a medical recirculating air cleaner designed to remove airborne particles such as allergens, including dust, smoke, pollen, mold spores, animal dander, dust mites, and harmful fibers that may lead to allergic reactions. <laughs> and I just want to, excuse my cough, um, I'm pretty much better, but uh, maybe the, you can tell from my voice I've still got a little bit of um, residual flu. Um, the New York Times today, April 4th, 2012. You can't get any more up-to-date and any more newsy than this. Uh, the title is Asthma in Children, and um, I'll just read a little bit of the article. It talks about causes. The cause of asthma is unknown. Asthma is most likely caused by a combination of inherited or genetic factors and environmental triggers such as allergens and infections. Asthma tends to run in families, so children whose parents have asthma are more likely to develop themselves. And the next subtitle is the allergic response. This is allergens. As allergens often coexist. The allergic response plays a strong role in childhood asthma. About 70 to 85 percent of children with asthma also have allergies. Some studies suggest that children who have allergies are also at a greater risk for uh, developing asthma as adults. However, only a minority of children with allergies have asthma. In people with allergies, the immune response, the immune system overreacts to exposure to allergens. Allergic asthma is, tra is triggered by inhaling certain substances or allergens such as, one, dust mites, specifically mite feces, which are loaded with enzymes that contain a powerful an allergen. These are the primary allergens in the home. Significant allergens, which can even be carried on clothing. Dogs usually cause fewer problems. People with asthma who already have pets and are not allergic to them probably have a low risk for developing allergies later on. Mold. Cockroaches. Cockroach dust is a major trigger and may reduce lung function, even in people without a history of asthma, pollen from plants. And then, of course, there are iron environmental factors, uh, which are irritants. An asthma attack can be induced or aggravated by direct irritants to the lungs. Studies indicate that more indoor allergens uh, are allergic to the higher the risk for severe asthma. Important irritants include smoking. Parental smoking has been shown to increase the airway responsiveness of infants as early as the first two to ten weeks of life. This extends even to the fetus of a pregnant woman who smoke. These mothers tend to have babies born at low birth weight, which affects lung function and increases their baby's risk for asthma. Food allergies. About 10-15% of children with asthma also have food allergies. Research indicates um, that peanut and milk allergies may increase asthma severity. Indoor chemicals used in household cleaning products and furniture materials can trigger asthma triggers, can be asthma triggers. Air pollution. Fossil fuels and chemicals that contribute to air pollution may worsen asthma symptoms. And of course, this is the key. This is the linchpin of what we're trying to address with the, uh, with the new Kinko air purifier. We are talking about being a, a medical device that a medical device that capable of uh, clean air to remove airborne particles such as allergens like, like dust, smoke, pollen, mold spores, animal dander, dust mites harmful fibers, and yes, even dust mite feces. Um, the OPA goes a giant step to make sure that we not only get it, but that we get it all. And, uh, and we do it in a very efficient way. We do it in a way that um, makes sure we're going down to 120 nanometers or, or 0.12 microns. Um, when you look at the pricing here, the Power 5 Pro had a consultant price or a wholesale price of uh, $599, and what we've been able to do with the um, with our purifier is to reduce that drop that down by $150 to $449 wholesale price. That is with 100% PV and with 70% CV versus 80% CV on the Power 5 Pro. Average, of course, three years on the fan motor and one-year parts and labor is the same for both. Uh, let's look at some of the numbers here, some of the performance numbers relevant. Um, the 5 Pro had a cater or a clean air delivery rate of 198. Um, 
And we take a look at the Kinko Air Purifier, we see that for smoke it's 130, for dust it's 139, and for pollen it's 140. And when you take a look at the amount and the size difference, it's really not apples to apples. The Kinko Air Purifier is doing a tremendous amount more of cleansing of the air because it's doing it all the way down to 0 0.12 microns at a much higher efficiency than with the Power 5 Pro. Power assumption is virtually the same. It's 43 watts versus 55 watts. And in order to calibrate that, uh, you can go ahead and look online and any number of, of articles that you can read or that you can pick up, which tell you um, uh, 43 to 55 watts is, is about what it takes to burn two compact fluorescent bulbs. So it's virtually, it's, as, again, it's Energy Star certified. Uh, Energy Star people have commended us for the amount of performance that we've gotten out of such a skimpy use of electricity. Uh, no level in decibels is 47 for the Power 5 Pro, and at turbo, the Kinko Air Purifier is um, 48.5 dBs. This is virtually the same. The difference between 47 and 48.5 dBs is, is, is almost inaudible, and the bottom line here is the uh, anything less than 50 dBs it's as quiet as you would find in a library. Again, look at area coverage here. The Power 5 Pro is spec'd at 387 square feet, whereas the Kinko Air Purifier is 313. But remember, if you're taking a look at HEPA versus OPA, this is an OPA filter that's covering 313. If you throttled back to the, to the 0 0.3 microns, um, this is a standard size room. If you went back to 0 0.3 microns and compared HEPA to HEPA, you would find that that number would, would virtually double. So uh, it, does, it does a comfortable room, it does a, a very good area, it does it in OPA quality, and, um, and it does it down to 0 0.12 microns. Summary, what we have is um, super performance. Again, um, a notch above the competition, and you won't find OPA filters over the counter. You won't find OPA filters at retail. In fact, you won't find OPA filters from other MLMs. So from a performance standpoint, the Kinko Air stands alone. Uh, we've competitively priced it at $449 wholesale. Is, uh, is, a, is a price that you'll see is competitive not only with uh, the kind of uh, high performance items that you'll find uh, in Lowe's or Home Depot or uh, Sears, but it's also competitively priced with some of the best professional units that you'll find in the market on Google anywhere you want to go. And of course, an, I consider it to be an elegant design. It's a green design. All the plastic that we use is recyclable. It's packaged in uh, in paper, recycled products, in, in cardboard. Uh, we don't use we don't use polystyrene. And um, it is is a product that has been extremely well thought out. It meets the objectives in that it not only has <clears throat> um, advanced professional quality filtration, it has a nib ion generator that still produces no ozone. It is friendly. It's a compact design, and, and I see questions coming in. Is it portable? And the answer is yes. There's a handle on the back of the front. Uh, it weighs 13.9 uh, pounds or 6.3 kilos, so it's very lightweight. It's easy to transmit. Someone's asked for the dimensions, and there are there's a, there's a quick reference sheet that's already online that talks about the OPA, that talks about the, the very positive um, optimal aspects of this it is um, its dimensions. I have dimensions in inches here. It is 14.8 uh, by 22.6 by 10, which again is just slightly uh, wider than the um, the Power 5 Pro, about the same height. Uh, the weight, I think, is actually less. And um, I don't know what specs you want. The uh, the warranty information is there. The QS has everything you'd want to know. And um, it is, it is ready to go. And I'll tell you, I do not see Rod Bummer. He is not dialed in yet. He is not ready to go. And um, that's pretty much all that, that I wanted to say. So um, unless people want to type in questions and send them in, uh, level I think I've covered uh, information on it. Again, what we'll do is we'll not only post this, uh, this recording, this WebEx, with the PowerPoints, and of course, the PowerPoints will be posted on the web. They'll be posted in the library. But we'll also have the QRS available. And uh, it'll have all the specs. It'll have all the, the, um, the interesting tidbits that you need, as well as pricing, as well as dimensions, as well as weight. And, uh, and we're ready to go. So I want to thank everybody for joining. I want to thank everybody for calling in and, uh, and joining us here. 
I apologize for Roger Drummer. I'll have to check with him, and uh, we'll get together with Roger and talk about his trip to Europe and talk about Bergestrol at another time. Thanks again. I appreciate it. Good night.